think people realize this. You almost died. Yeah. <laughs> like, you were very close. And if you go back a few years before that, you have a song out and you have a philosophy out, which is just like, hey, live your best life. You're openly saying, I got life figured out. Mm -hmm. I got it all. I'm, I, I, Everything's done. I figured yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, if you follow me, your life is going to be better. You're like bragging. Yeah. Was there, do you? I feel like God did this to show, all right, we finna see if you bought all that shit you that, talking about. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you that. Even while I was sitting there, I was like, damn, he really put me through this shit to show. Because it wasn't just that. Yeah. It's, it's Kool-Aid. Yeah. Then Clay, or yeah. no, then Accent. Clay then was Clay. after, Clay was yeah. like, the day I got off my crutch, the next day, that's when the shit happened. Mm. So think about this, right? You're telling people, I got life figured out. One of your best friends passes. You get in an accent that almost kills you. And then right after recovery, a little bit, the your other best day. friend. No, I'm talking about the next day, I got off my crutch. I talk about this on stage. Like, as soon as I got off my crutch, he was like, I was like, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta walk with no crush no more. He was like, yeah, but take that shit to child support tomorrow. Mm. Cause I had a child support court tomorrow, the next day. I took it to child support court. I called him. I was in the Bahamas cause after I went child support, I went straight to the Bahamas. Yeah. And I was like, I did say everything, whoop the whoop. He's like, you paid her cause I had to pay it right then. He's like, yeah, I paid. He's like, all right, cool. As long as you paid her. Hung up. Two hours later. Everybody called me and was telling me that shit was wow. that shit happened. Fuck. Yeah. It was like everything was like a movie. Like my life be like a damn movie. It's like, damn, is is this the part here? Like I know it's part. Like I always know life is up and down. But yeah, I'm like, yeah. when you in that shit, like, hmm. damn, this that part of the movie now. So do you think God was testing you? Like you think you got this? I don't out, think I'm God was you. testing me. I think it was more a test of shit. He knew I was gonna get through it, so he used me. Because other people probably was like, how you like, he's just talking that. Oh, it's easy to be happy when you're rich. Yeah, it's, it's easy, easy to be happy, happy when you got like, Jesse like in the Bahamas. It's like he used me as an example. And I was like, damn, this is part of the example. You know, like, like when you're doing a movie and, and the movie it says, uh, you're going to get shot here. You're going to have to do a recovery. You got to lose a lot of weight. You got to do all the this The night shit. is always darkest before the Yeah, dark so I, I'm like, damn, this is the part of that movie. Okay, mm -hmm. take us to the accident. Okay? Mm -hmm. Take us to, I, I've, uh, take me through the whole thing. All right, I'm coming. I'm leaving. You see, it's I've been in your place. Yeah, in the Bahamas, all right, all right, so, I so you. So I pull out. The, I I go. My my. I start even before that. So when I'm over there, my batteries be dead on my four wheelers and all that shit there. Mm -hmm. So I had to jump the four wheel up. So I jump the four wheel up. I drive it around to keep the, to get it on. Ah, uh, you got to charge Char up the battery. Yeah, I'm by charging driving up the battery. So yeah. I drive down to a beach. Down there, you know, we got beaches everywhere. I yeah. pop up to one of them beaches. I'm sitting there smoking by myself. And I'm just looking back, and you know me, I'll be so, I'll be happy, like, I can't believe I'm here. I'm such, 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 such. I'm, I really did it. So I'm like, this is a good place to fuck, too. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> yeah. go back to the house. His brain. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> nah, Gratitude will do that. <laughs> yeah, for real, Stop. man. No, He's like, look at this beautiful the scenery. Sky, what the universe. Yeah, like, so, bitch. <laughs> push. Yeah. yeah so, I'm right, so I'm riding back. Now, you know, my road is empty as fuck. It's, yeah. You might see five cars the whole day on this there's, road. There's no numbers for the homes. In yeah, order it's no to address. Go, you got to know, like, you go gotta, by the red house. Yeah. Left oh, at the wow. blue house. Like those are the directions yeah. that he gave me when we were going to his crib. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the road is is it? It's paved, but it's, it's not. It's paved. Like, it's like one road, and yeah. and like we drive on this side, on the left side, not the right side. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I'm telling you that because this is why it happened. So we're driving. I'm riding on my four wheeler. And I'm about to turn in my driveway. You know how my drive. I'm about to turn in my driveway. As I'm about to turn, my, just so happened this lady behind. I never. I didn't know she was even behind me. She tried to go around me. Because mm. uh, you're obviously slowing down. So she's like, I don't want to wait. I'm going around. Yeah. And the mm. Bahamas, they they drive wild. They don't give a fuck. They drive in the middle of the road. Yeah. Now, so she trying to go around me. She trying to go around me. It's just just so happened the right time. Boom! Hit me and I flew. Damn. Ooh, I flew. Wow. Flew everywhere. Like, do, you, I, do you remember flying through the air? Yes. I talk about it on stage. I ain't going to give it here because I don't want to. Yeah. But yeah. I talk about it on stage and laying, I was on the ground. I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, I'm about to die. <laughs> so, well, actually, I, once I realized I wasn't paralyzed. How do you realize you're not paralyzed? I started feeling my toes. Pain or you're actually moving? It was moving painful stuff. than a motherfucker, but. It's kind of hard to explain because it was everything was going in my head so fast. My life was going through my head and everything. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, I fucked up. Now, keep in mind, mm -hmm. where he is, 
There's no real hospital. No. There might not be anybody. Mm -hmm. Is your old lady in the, in the house? She she sleep. Listen, and, and so it's like he so was, could just, he was just going to wake her up. I was there on the ground like, well, I mean, I could be there forever, right? Yeah. So I'm sitting there, Damn. and the lady stop, and she go get my old lady. And wow. so when she go get my old lady, my old lady come down. She look at me. This one I knew I was really fucked up. When she's like, oh shit, I knew I looked crazy. Yeah, I knew it was. And the first thing she said out her mouth was, oh, you got all your teeth. <laughs> Cause like right before that, the day before that, I had said some shit about people ain't old people ain't got back teeth. Yeah, yeah. I got all my back teeth. Yeah. So I was talking shit about teeth, and so she was thinking this was like that. Like man, fuck out of here. Woo, woo, woo. So the first thing I tried to, I called Clay. First thing I called Clay, I was like, man, I fucked up, bro. I was like, this shit over, man. Like I knew. Wow. I, it was a death call. Yeah, I was like, wow. Oh, wow. I, I knew. I was like, I'm being a wheelchair forever now. I was like, I'm being a wheelchair for the nice. So right through that whole time laying on the ground, I was laying on the ground for a long time. I ain't gonna, I'll tell you later, but I, I was going through all the money I had. I started saying what I can't do no more, what I'm gonna, you just start thinking about all, like I say, like you said before, I prepared myself for everything. Yep. So right then I was preparing myself for being handicapped and not having no, sh no, no be able to go on the road no more. <sighs> All that shit, I had all in my head. Wow. And, but Clay kept being on the, I don't even want to talk about it because it's going to make me cry. Good, good, good. Cry, no, I don't want to cry. I'll cry I'll with cry. you, bro. I love crying. This is beautiful. I'm a crier. I'll Yo, cry people need nah. this, man. I need to hear about this. Nah, so, well, when he, when it when it happened, I kept telling him, kept telling Clay, man, fuck, he like, nah, you're going to get through this shit. And he the reason I got through it, honestly. For real, for real. I don't want to talk about this shit, bro. No, it's beautiful, man. No, it ain't, man. Like, it's I still... It's beautiful. That's why I ain't want to do this shit, because I knew you were going to bring this shit up. Good. I don't be really want to no, talk you about guys, that shit, Well, man. you don't have to do anything, but to me, it's really beautiful to see you have these emotions Can I ask why him. you don't want to talk about it? No, nah, it's just... It's just... It's hard, to, it's hard to explain it all through, because you still... It ain't the accident. I'm, I'm, I overcame the accident. Mm -hmm. I'm still recovering from Clay. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So... Yeah. So all that shit happened, but the day he was the first person at the hospital, and he was the last person at the goddamn when when the shit happened. So yeah. the nigga was a real nigga. He's a man. I don't, yeah, I think people who maybe are unfamiliar with Clay is like an absolute icon in the music business and like a real stand-up dude and to the point where there was a lot of situations that you could probably speak to in like the music business. And I think you were his first comedy client, right? Yeah. That nigga ain't no shit about comedy. He but, never knew about it. But he knew about standing on business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like for example, like nobody was going to short you. Yeah. Nobody was going to short any artist of Clay's. Nah. And he would really stand but up But even wasn't that. He was just a genuine person. Yeah. Like, like even when I fuck with you, I fuck with you as a genuine person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just, yeah. it is hard to find genuine people. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I hold that more than anything. Yeah. People being genuine, because I can find talent. I got talent. Yeah. I don't need nobody to have talent. I don't need nobody to do shit. Especially yeah. with technology. I can do everything. Yeah. You seen me first. Yeah, I was the first crazy. nigga with a drone in Times Square. Yeah. I got footage of Times Square that nobody got. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah, I, yeah. I could do everything myself. Technology, maybe I could do everything myself. Yeah. It's just finding people, genuine people. Yeah. I hold on to them. Yeah. And he was one of them. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So what else do we want to talk about? We talk about everything, bro. I'm what curious about the, the recovery. You actually, you go to the hospital, and how long does it take for you to get on your feet? Shit. To get back walking? Yeah. About six months. How long it was? When you came nah, and shot dude. that? When I was down there and I checked in on you... I, I'm down in LA and I'm doing a, a movie. I go, oh, we went to Mexico. Yeah, you know, I go, I go yeah, you're, you're, you're just the craziest dude. I go, I go, I go, yo, man, I want, I want to hang. I want to like come and see you. Where you at? Uh, I was like, do you want to go get some food or something like that? And he go, and then you said, nah, let's go to Magic City. And I was like, why? And you're like, uh, what'd you say? You're like, uh, it's safer. It was something about you parking your car at a restaurant. You were worried that like some people might recognize your car. And then they'll try to follow you. Oh uh, yeah, this is when they were jacking cars like crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they be they be stealing cars in Atlanta a lot. So yeah. I you just gotta pay attention and know where you're going in Atlanta yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I took up to the I took up to Magic City and shit like that there just because that's some vibe. That's and Clay was there too. Yep. You know course. what I'm saying? It's like yeah, I said, yeah. Clay always been there for a nigga. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was right after the accident, or no? That was a few months. It was about six, about four, five months afterwards. But I was in the. 
I was in my wheelchair, and that's why I put respect on people with handicap. Like, yeah. Because the world don't give a fuck about handicap people for yeah. real. And anybody you see out there in that goddamn wheelchair, they did a lot just to get up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you learn that when you're in that goddamn chair. But that's, that, see, that's another thing, like perspective with you. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people look at that and they'd be angry that they were in a wheelchair. No, I And then you look at it and you're just like, man. Because I knew I was getting up. They ain't never getting up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. knew, like, like I said. At what I, point did you decide, I'm recovering from this shit? When I was laying on that ground waiting for about four hours, a couple hours waiting. You know what I'm saying? That's when I knew. You were so like, you if go you through the hole, I'm going to die. All oh, that never shit. Gonna walk again. It don't take oh, long I'm going to walk to, again. Keep going. Yeah, it don't take long for me. Like, I... I had, and especially when you getting, when you in the air and flying, <laughs> you realize everything passed through your life. You just go through everything. And then, the, well, the first person I called was my daughter, but she, uh, she didn't pick up. Her mama didn't pick up. Then I called Clay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you start. And then Charlemagne. Man, this nigga Charlemagne. Yeah, this is great. This, this is the most Charlemagne reaction. Go. Man, this nigga Charlemagne. So I call him. He's, he's on the crowd. I said, yo, I'm fucked up. I, I, I might even have him FaceTime. Yeah, yeah you're a FaceTime. Yeah, he was like, huh? I can't even say it because I, I don't really want to say what he said. Say it. Say it. We can bleep it. We can bleep it. We nah, can bleep nah, it. No, no, no. I ain't saying it because I don't want to throw somebody else under the bus. <laughs> 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 we, can we just cut it and you just tell them? Nah, I'll tell y'all off camera because I don't trust We're going to bleep shit. it. We're going to bleep it. I promise you, we'll bleep it. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> so I was like, hey man, because the first only person I know that know this, know my islands out there is Ludacris. Yeah. And so I was like, yo, call Ludacris and tell him I need him to um, send his plane over here because, yeah. nigga, I need a jet to get over here quick. Mm -hmm. To get over to Miami from mm -hmm. the Bahamas. Yeah, he was like, all right, cool. This nigga thought I was bullshitting the whole time. So he didn't. <laughs> he, thought he was doing like a joke or a sketch or something. Yeah, yeah. He thought I was bullshitting the whole goddamn time. It wasn't till Clay called him. I was like, Clay is, is through all this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't till Clay called him. He's like, yo, Clay. And then he was like, oh, he really is fucked up. And nobody really understood how fucked up I was because this is how I knew I could take drugs too. And like, that's why I want to do cocaine because. Mm. I could really take some drugs. And they shot me up with morphine like three times. How good did it feel? Man, it felt so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, at that moment, I understood why yeah. people do drugs. Yeah, like, yeah. It was like, that shit hit your body. Woo! Dog, a I was so geeked up. I was on, I was, they were surgery and drilling a hole in my knee. I got on live. And they, wow. while they was doing that shit, and I was turned up like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they realized I wasn't bullshit. That's when the world realized I wasn't bullshit. Wow. Yeah. Everybody thought I was bullshitting until I. That's why I tell you, I tell you like people always talk about the bad shit on social media. Yeah. But I'm proof that when you use that shit right, positivity, it'll goddamn change. It'll change the world. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. The shit like even through the whole situation, all those people. Like, I was talking to Ice-T yesterday at the show. He came to the show, and he was like, man, um, shit like that give you a, better, a different perspective on life and yep. shit. Like, it wasn't like that for me. I think who I was prepared me for that. Yeah, yeah, Because it yeah. made me that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I didn't have who I was, like, the living my best life mind mentality, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to get through that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that Could've shit broke a, you. It mm. would have broke the shit out of you. Yeah. Because mm. that, that whole shit and, and all the love I got from... From I always show love to handicapped people and all. Even before this shit happened, all the motherfuckers came to my side. Really, nigga, my first show is like a whole row of a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's fine. So like that. Like, like, they all came. Like, they all <laughs> faked this shit for a new market. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna get all the disabled people. That out shit of was up. packed for the first couple shows because I did my first couple shows in a wheelchair. Bro. Like crack about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a driving movie, bro. Yeah, they crazy. came. Out, it was in that motherfucker like it was <laughs> yeah. motherfucker that came, like they all came out to show love, man, like, so like, like I said, like, yeah. they, like, yeah. they, like, they, nah, they was telling me how to handle shit, like even while I was going through shit, like the DMs, like they'll send me shit, or people that went through the same situation, they they'll tell me how to handle certain shit or or give me words of encouragement and shit like yeah. that. So it it worked a lot, you know who, what I'm saying? Who was the most surprising person or or group that reached out? What were you most shocked by? Just the in the, the whole in, recovery, it wasn't nobody celebrities like that. Cause not I even never, celebrity, but like, what was the most surprising thing? Shit, the love I got back from the really? industry people. Cause like I said, you know me, I don't. As much as people think like your industry, like hang with 
celebs, I've never been that guy like mm. that. I never gave a fuck about hanging with celebrities. But the celebrities that I that that um that hit me up, I was more surprised about and and just the love I got from outside of people that I didn't think that knew me, you know mm. what I'm saying? So mm. yeah. shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like it's more a community thing. Like it wasn't like a the Yo, you know what it is sometimes? It's like when somebody's going through something difficult, you feel more comfortable showing them love mm -hmm. than when they're thriving. Because when they're thriving, you show them love. Some people feel like they're just glazing you. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. like they're just trying to kiss your ass. But when you're struggling, it's almost like the excuse mm -hmm. to pour in. To pour in. Hmm. Maybe so. I guess so. Well, yeah. just like, like even like when you have a kid, it's so easy for people to reach out and congratulate you and just give you so much love. Mm -hmm. I felt that. And... Uh, yeah, it's just an awesome. And yeah. then later on down the line, like when you called me yesterday, like, man, this shit is a lot. Bro. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, he, he told me funny shit yesterday. Cause I was like, yo, I don't know how anybody does this. He goes, he goes, he goes, man, for the first two years, I was a baby mama. Yeah, I was. <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> but like I told him, like, that was the that, You stayed that, home during the day with Yeah, the baby. like, and when my when my baby mama came on, I felt like they were like, where the fuck you been? <laughs> <laughs> but all she been was at work. You, know? but you feel it. Like, but like I told him, like, that was the most important part. Like, that's what the bond I got with my daughter now, because that mm. one to two year old time. Because mm. like, it'd be like a nurturing or like a, yep. a, a psychological shit that yeah. goes on at that time that you bond that you can't take away from mm. when they get old. And like, no matter what mm. somebody say about me, it ain't yeah. going to affect her because. Yo, you know what's crazy? My dad uh, stayed home with me. I believe that. Oh, wow. It'd be little shit like that. You don't even think about it, but... And it, I, like I say, like, I didn't put no thought... Like, I'm not smart enough to say I'm going to be with my daughter... Yeah, it just happened. ...till she won. I mean, like, what, the first month, I mean, the first year, I'm not going to be with her like that. But somehow the universe made me where I had to sit there like that for about a year. You wow. know what I'm saying? Did, mm. did you have any animosity or frustration to the woman that, that hit you? mm, -mm. Like, people ask me, did I sue her? Nope. I never said nothing to her because, like I said, I felt like it was supposed to happen. Hmm. Like, the way the shit happened and it was nobody on the road. It's like, how the fuck just us two on the fucking road? Hmm. It's like she was supposed to hit me. And then she was the one to save me. If she yeah, wasn't there, I would have bled to death. Mm. Mm. You she know what I'm saying? Did you ever see her afterwards or talk to her? Mm -mm. People kept trying to talk to her. And then, like... The Bahamas showed me love too. Like they was all praying for me and shit. So Bro. it was just like I couldn't, like I couldn't, I couldn't they, like they, nobody for they no shit show, like that. <laughs> they show you a lot of love in the Bahamas. Yeah, they show me love because I show them love. It's bad. I remember when I came there, we were filming the uh, the the dropping in episode. I had all this camera gear, and uh, the people asked me, "What is it at the customs?" They're like, "Well, what's going on here?" And I was like, "Oh, we're just gonna film something." They're like, "This is a professional production, or whatever." And I go. Uh, I'm just gonna film it with a little Duval. <laughs> the customs guy was like, "All right." Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't know that, but like that's why I say like sometimes it's just how you move and it works in your favor. Because like I didn't know like they showed me love. like the only reason I show them look is like I'm really from them. Like my family's from there, so I just yeah. feel like it's a part of me. And I feel like I it's my duty to to bring the world to have understanding of of our culture. 